Hello guys. So for this video, we're going to be doing a little something different. And, and because it's still a little too late to do a draw my life, I'm going to be doing draw my school life. So, we're not going to go to daycare and preschool. <laughs> so, I started... Oh my gosh, it's going to bug me. So, I started kindergarten in 2009. I believe. <laughs> I believe it was 2009. It was 2008 or 9. I can't find a book, so whatever. So I started kindergarten in 2009. Sadly, I didn't have very many friends. No one really wanted to be my friend. Because I was known as the weird kid. And I continues on in the story. But I did have one friend. And her name was Claudia. We were best friends. And out of nowhere... This other girl named Brooklyn would always take Claudia away from me. So I didn't really spend a lot of time with Claudia, but we did have play dates every now and then. I would usually go home with her mom, have a play date, then my mom would pick me up. So, let's move on to first grade. First grade. I went to a school called OLPH. It was a Catholic school. Along with the church. So, I went there for first grade. Second grade, third grade, and fourth grade. I still didn't have very many friends in first grade. Second grade was a little different. Then third grade is when... I met my my ex boyfriend Buster. We stayed together through fourth grade. And I started having a lot more friends when I hit second grade actually. Alright, now fourth grade. Again. Because I actually took fourth grade over again. Fourth grade, I went to a school called. I think that's how you spell it. Hokum. Which. I still did not know what bullying was back then. But. I had one friend. Her name was Caitlin.
I'm gonna put cat for right there. And she was pretty much my only friend. And everyone there called me Danny. Fifth grade. I was still at Holocom when I hit fifth grade. But I found out that my first grade teacher's husband was my fifth grade teacher. <laughs> Which is actually kind of cool. Fifth grade wasn't as well. Now, let's move on to the worst grade I ever had. Sixth grade. Now, for sixth grade, I was known as the weird and awkward kid. No one wanted to be, no one wanted to be my friend. No one wanted to play with me. It was a whole lot of bullying. And later on near the end of the year, I got punched right in the bridge of my nose. And even after that day, everyone kept on saying, Alexis, why didn't you punch her harder? And that was the first time I ever discovered bullying and anxiety and depression. Let's move on to 7th grade. 7th grade, I go to the school that I go to now called ALA. In 7th grade, I still didn't have very many friends. I was still known as the lo the awkward and loner kid. But when I hit eighth grade, I had my very first girlfriend. Name Gloria. And near the end of the year, I got with my boyfriend. Well, my my ex boyfriend now. My ex boyfriend Union. I'm not allowed to say his real name. <laughs> so everything was swell till then. In ninth grade, I still. I still had Union, but I broke up with Buster. And then I broke up with Union. And then, so near the end of ninth grade and beginning of tenth grade, I met my boyfriend now. Aaron. Thinking of 10th grade, I'm actually using my math folder for 10th grade right now. I turned, I just figured out this turned into a love life thing. <laughs> but anyway. Nine, 8th, 9th, and 10th grade. There was this kid named Colton. He was a troublesome kid, but not the one that you think like Rebecca, Rebecca Perrin's um, people. Because, because he didn't 
like me that much. He would do really mean things that Union, that Union even knows about. He would call me a lizard. A horse. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm sick. I think I might have the flu. At least it's not COVID. <laughs> And he would make fun of me and Union being being together. Like he would say he would break up with me. He's just using me out of pity and all that stuff. Aaron knows some of some of about the stuff like actually a few days ago. Colton said no one would trust me if I if I became a vet. Which is actually my dream job my dream job. I want to be a vet. Colton, Colton harassed me for two years, and now it's turning into three years. And the worst part is, I got, I got out of my algebra class, but the problem was Colton was in my geometry, which was fourth hour, right before lunch. Yeah. So anyway. That, that was my Draw My Life School story. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see me do a Draw My Life, I will get around to it if you guys want me to. If you guys want to know anything more about my life, just let me know. <laughs> I love you all. Bye.